This is a Game Caviar production. I need to do more videos. I haven't, you know, been whatever. I've been busy, so, but I'm going to be pumping out more videos. Right here, I'm not going crazy. I'm not just showing you this in reverse just for the fuck of it. This is the, the what is it, the calm before the storm. Okay, not having in the Game Caviar Studios. This match right here was like a kill confirmed on Nuketown, and then we ended up lagging real bad and then they had to migrate a host so they can migrate into another host and this was just it right here what i was doing was i was i'm trying to rank up my crossbow and i was getting screwed heavily and this part of the match right here i was one in 14 unbeknownst to me you didn't see it but i checked the score in the match this is off a of theater and i was like shit i need to get my uh i need to quit playing around and get my shit together and what followed is just a massacre of biblical proportions last night i put up a video for the new god of war ascension the uh the the multiplayer demo was released on psn uh, for playstation plus members like myself hooray it's a really good game check out that video and if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed to the channel you're crazy press subscribe right now right now before your computer implodes into itself we are trying to still trying to move to a thousand subscribers a lot of good content 2013 is going to be a great year for game caviar press subscribe right now anyway in this game i've noticed that treyarch uh they nerfed smgs into oblivion they're no longer relevant and it's also it also is in relation to lag some videos or some matches i can have a really good game with smg slay anything that gets in front of me or around me uh, because uh, the hit detection is so bad, they don't necessarily have to be directly in front of you. They can just be near the barrel of your gun sometimes, and that's fine. What I have found is that the assault rifles uh, have been buffed, like they said they were going to do. They did buff them, so they're a lot better. Right here, I got confused. EMPs confuse me in a video game, so I end up shooting at my own players. That's why I don't play hardcore. Anyway, M27 rifle is my favorite gun in this whole game this whole tragedy called call of duty black ops 2 and uh if you don't know why it's my favorite then just watch this little bit of a video remember i was 1 in 14 if you're keeping count please keep count because i haven't i was 1 in 14 and i blacked out and went on a killing spree 100 killer drone in the air what i do what i like about the m27 is that it's the recoil is hardly noticeable it is very accurate and i am rocking the red dot scope and the foregrip you don't need the red dot scope the iron sights are really efficient but i like to have the red dot scope because um i just do and it helps with accuracy especially when you're trying to pick people off from greater distances you just put that red dot on them and send them to heaven or hell depending on how they live their life um if you if you've noticed earlier i don't know why those guys didn't die but earlier there was a guy walking around with a death machine and i just laid him out because i ain't scared of no death machine son i would like to use the death machine i like the sound of it that's what i like and the fact that it's called the death machine and it literally brings death to everybody except for me because i'm awesome is I, I really like to use like if i had a death machine i'd probably go 80 and 0 you know because whatever i think i pretty much got this game figured out i like the game a lot more than i did after the uh, like the first night i loved the game because it was no lag and everything was good i'm on the east coast so we got the games first and there was not that many people online after that the initial rush of uh the full release and then everybody was on the game it became more and more of a shithole so they up did some updates and everything and whatever and now it seems a lot better minus the uh, absolute i don't know what the hell just killed me but minus the uh occasional severe mild to severe lag that you experience during matches this game is really good and uh, I, I think that I don't like it better than the first Black Ops, but I do find myself having a more joyous time playing it than the first Black Ops. Uh, certain things that I like are the I like the kill streaks; they're pretty cool. I like the Hunter Killer, and 
I do like the fact that you don't have to buy everything. I, I thought that was really cheesy, the, the COD bucks or whatever it's called. It reminded me of the Jeffrey Dollars from Toys R Us, which doesn't really make any sense. Some games, it really works out really well. Like the, uh, what's the name of that game? Hold on. I got it right here. Army of Two, where you have to buy stuff for that game. That, it works out in that game. And then SimCity, remember you had to buy like police stations and stuff? It worked out in that game, but it didn't work out in COD Black Ops 1. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, spread the word. I'm not having any game caveat. Look at that score, 20 and 24 after I started 1 and 14. I pat myself on the back. I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.